Hi guys, this is Niklot and I wish you a welcome to another episode of Slavic Chronicles. Today we are going to talk about human height. Human height is controlled by multiple genes and environmental factors. Many studies have estimated heritability of human height and we also know it to be true from our everyday experience. The children usually take after their parents when it comes to height. Another important factor is nourishment. The healthier one eats, the more they will grow. However, we will not be looking into that right now. Instead, we will examine what constitutes the height of nations. The following results are based only on measured stats. Non-measured and self-reported stats cannot be considered a reliable source. For instance, one self-reported study shows that the average size of Dutch people is 183.8 cm, while measured stats show the result of 181 cm. Well, it is well known that guys like to add a few centimeters to their size. Based on research by Pinot, Delamarche and Bozinovic called the average size of adolescents in the Narek Alps, the average 17-year-old male from Herzegovina is 185.6 cm tall which makes them the tallest people in the world. In our video, we will focus only on the results of national scale that are not self-reported. As we can see, there are 13 countries where the average height is more than 180 and all of them are European. Out of those 13 countries, 5 are from former Yugoslavia, with the exception of Macedonia because we could not find any measured data. 4 are Scandinavian, one Northern European that is close to Scandinavia, and that one is Lithuania, and two are Central European, Czechia and Austria. So what do those countries share in common besides being tall? Let us look at a map that shows the distribution of i-hapl groups and we might see an interesting match. Darker spots represent a higher concentration of i hapl groups. Now, let's check how big the percentage of i hapl group is for each of the 13 countries. According to Dr. Damir Marjanovic from the University of Sarajevo, the concentration of i hapl groups is around 71% in the region of Herzegovina, where the average height of 17-year-old guy is 185.6 cm. As you can see, the only outlier to the influence of i hapl group is Lithuania. On the other side, the shortest Europeans are people from Portugal, with an average height of 172.3 and the i hapl group's contribution to Portuguese genetics is around 3%. Turkish people are only 173.6 on average and there is only 5% of i hapl groups in Turkish DNA. Italians are also among the shortest European people, with 174.48 on average, and the frequency of i hapl groups with them is around 10%. As we can see, there are a lot of correspondences between frequency of i hapl groups and average height. However, there are exceptions. Romanians are only 172.3, and their i hapl group genetic influence is 14.1% which is pretty similar to the Ukrainian level. We are not claiming that the i hapl group is the only reason why some people are tall, but we do believe that it does have considerable influence. Life conditions are also extremely important, thus humans are now taller than they used to be. There is no starvation in Europe currently, unlike the Middle Ages, which allows us to eat and grow more than we did in the past. It is interesting that the Dutch were never considered tall throughout history. It was only lately that they happened to grow so tall. On the other hand, Scandinavians and Southern Slavs were always considered tall and both have significant influence of high hapl groups, which works in favor with our thesis. Hapl group I is the oldest major hapl group in Europe and in all probability the only one that originated there. Hapl group IJ would have arrived from Middle East to Europe some 35,000 years ago, then developed into Hapl group I soon afterward. Today, Europeans are the tallest people in the world. Besides North America, I Hapl groups are not present outside of Europe or are present in irrelevant numbers which are less than 1%. Let's look at Slavs for instance. Most of Slavic population is R1A, which is Indo-European plus I2A, which is related to I, therefore, 
it comes from the first people that populated Europe. Among Southern Slavs, however, I2A is more common than R1A. For instance, the frequency of i haplogroups groups among Russians is 15.8% and 50.1% among the population of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The average Russian is 177.2, while the average Bosnian is 183.9. The main genetic difference between Serbs and Bulgarians is the higher E1B frequency among Bulgarians and the higher I2A frequency among Serbs. As I mentioned before, the average Serbian is 182, while the average Bulgarian is only 175.2. I2A found among 32.48% of Serbs and only 16.8% among Bulgarians. Even B frequency is 13.84% among Orthodox Serbs and 26 among Bulgarians. One more time, we have to mention that genetics is not the only factor that determines one's height. It probably only shows one's potential for growth. How much do genetics contribute to height and how much does nutrition? According to a scientist, the short answer to this answer to this question is that about 60 to 80 percent of difference in height between individuals is determined by genetic factors, whereas 20 to 40 percent can be attributed to, an, uh, to environmental effects, mainly nutrition and sports. This was Niklot from Slavic Chronicles. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and share it so that more people can see it. Let us know what you think in the comment section. For those of you who are curious to check your DNA makeup, you can do so by buying the DNA Ancestry test kit we have selected from the Amazon. If you buy from our link down in the description, we will get a percentage of your purchase and it help us research even more. If you want to support our work, visit us on Patreon. It would be also cool to share the video on social media, that can help us a lot. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. All the links are in the description below. That's it for today, see you in the next video, Slava!